I'm going to talk to you a little bit about uh, an elevated PSA. Uh, many, many uh, patients are uh, diagnosed with uh, an elevated PSA. It's become a screening tool for prostate cancer. But you have to understand what the significance of an elevated PSA is. So that's what we're going to talk about today. Uh, does an elevated PSA mean that you have prostate cancer? No, it does not mean you have prostate cancer. Normal prostate tissue makes PSA. So just because you have an elevated PSA does not mean that you have prostate cancer. How do you know that an elevated PSA should be of a concern to you? There are a number of factors that um, can uh, occur in your history that would make me more suspicious that you are at risk for prostate cancer. For instance, uh, if you had a family member that had uh, previously had prostate cancer, brother, uh, father, uh, those are things that would make me more suspicious about uh, an elevated uh, PSA. There are other things that we can test in terms of a PSA. One of them is the what we call the percent free PSA. So not just looking at the absolute number, but also looking at the uh, composition of the PSA. The percent free PSA should be high. If it's lower, that would indicate to us that your PSA uh, might more likely indicate cancer. The other fact that's very important with a PSA is what uh, has happened to the PSA over time. A PSA, one snapshot of, of a PSA level is much less helpful than knowing what the trend has been. So if we see your PSA rising fairly rapidly, that's going to tell us that there's uh, more, uh, more area of concern.